Okay, CSA students, hope you guys are looking forward to solo hitting here. We're, we love, we're excited to have you guys back. Here are just a, a few set of drills that you guys can work on while you're on court by yourself, and we're gonna go through what these look like for you. All right, so for drill number one, we're standing on the T. So essentially, we're just behind the short line. We're playing the ball up against each wall. Racket's coming up early. We're swinging through the ball nice and easy. Not, we're not hitting the ball too hard. More control, less power for this one. And just trying to get that ball to bounce on the short line if we can each time. If you're feeling adventurous and you wanna try a slightly more advanced version of drill number one, you can set it up this way where you're hitting the ball from the re left wall all the way to the right wall. And then you're going on your backhand and you're doing the same thing. So just again, moving your feet to get in best position to play the shot is ideal for this drill. Racket preparation, racket coming up early. Again, very important. So for drill number two, forehand length drill, length rail, whatever you want to call it, same thing. Um, you can set it up by setting a small target here right behind the service box, and then we're just hitting rails. See how many targets you can hit in the five minutes that you've got. Again, rack it up early, moving your feet, trying to keep that ball as tight to the wall as possible. For drill number three, volley drill, very important is good racket preparation. We're just giving that feet in and just trying to keep that ball off the bounce on each shot. Try to keep it tight, but most important is trying to get play that ball up around your shoulder level, not letting that ball drop too low. We wanna strike it early, we wanna strike it firm. Drill number four is your drop shot drill. We're gonna stand just in front of the service box, we're gonna give a nice, easy feed to ourselves, and then we're gonna push that drop in. You can set a target down close to the, to the side wall and push that drop in, see how many targets you hit. Again, an easy feed up, and we're just pushing that drop right in. Drill number five is similar to drill number four, except we're gonna toss in a counter drop or a redrop. So we give that feed up, again, nice and easy, push the drop in, and this time, we're pushing up and gonna play that counter drop right into that target if we can. For number six, we're just gonna repeat drills two through five on the backhand side. Same thing, set those targets up, good footwork, Good racket preparation. Try to keep that ball tight if you can. So with number seven, short volley control. Again, very important. Take this one slowly. You don't need to hit the ball hard. Control over power is more important in this drill. Setting your feet up well. You're a good distance from the corner. Starting that shot going into the side wall and then on the backhand. Try to keep that going. Start slower. If you're comfortable with that, then you can feel free to pick up the pace on the drill. Number eight is figure eight volleys. Here's the modified version of the figure eight volley. This one involves a bounce. So again, moving your feet to set up that shot. You're hitting the ball. It goes front wall first, then left wall, then it bounces. Then you play your backhand shot to the front wall, right wall, and then it bounces, and then the forehand, and we keep doing that. All right, so if you're feeling confident with the modified figure eight volleys, you can transition into the regular figure eight volleys, which do not have a bounce involved in it. So again, you're just in front of the tee, it makes it a little bit easier. Good racket preparation, moving your feet if necessary to get those volleys from the front wall to the side wall and then back. Try to get that pattern, try to keep it going. See how many you can get in a row and then try to beat that score. For number nine, it's essentially the figure eight volley, but here, just try to get creative, try to put some volley drops in, try to get some killer shots in. So in, when you get a good vault figure eight up there, just push that kill shot in and try to get creative and try to see how low you can get that shot to the 10. Number 10 is all about deception. So we're just talking about little flicks here. Wait till the last second to play your shot and then try and change the decision. Number 10, deception, is all about just getting creative with your shots, trying different things. You got three minutes to try some different shots here. Number 11 is your serves. Here are a few different kinds of serves that you can try. There's, we've got lob serves, we've got hard serves. You can step up onto your serves. You can step back from your serves. If you're feeling really confident with these, you can try the backhand serve. On each of these serves, try your best to get the ball to hit the side wall on the opposite side of the court. That just makes it harder for your opponent to return your serves. 
two minutes there to just practice your serves and really make sure you're getting that ball in and getting comfortable with your serves.